Help me! Yeah. Oh. Help me! Oh my gosh. That seems very painful. Hey everyone, welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. Guess what I'm gonna watch? American Werewolf in London. It was very much requested. I've seen so many people ask about it and honestly, werewolf movies used to scare me so badly as a child. Um, and I was nervous, but I'm gonna do it. So I'm excited. Uh, we're gonna be watching that. And if you wanna watch the full watch along, you can go check it out on Patreon and just join me for the whole thing. I'm sure it's gonna be very entertaining. Um, and I'm excited. So let's get into it. Okay, we got some nice music. <laughs> Lycanthrope films. Without a dream in my heart. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm already scared. American Werewolf in London. I've avoided this movie my whole life. <laughs> Only because werewolves were so scary to me when I was a kid. I was like... Frank Oz? Frank Oz? Really? Take it to him, I will. <laughs> right now I feel okay. The music is good. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna enjoy the music then. Nothing's happening that's scary. Is this the first one? Because I know there's... Are there multiple? I know there's American Werewolf in Paris. We got some nice sheep in the back. <laughs> I like the setting. All right. That looks like a fun trip. Thanks for the ride, sir. <clears throat> you have lovely sheep. Lovely. I'm gonna miss you. Bye, girls. I would miss them too. <laughs> I mean, look around. Isn't this a fun place? It's a Beautiful place. There's nothing dull <laughs> about that body. Where are these guys coming from? Are they going home? Since the eighth grade. The eighth How grade. How many years of foreplay is that? The eighth grade. She likes me too much. <laughs> Shot behind them, so something's coming up. Okay. They're making it. They're making it to this small little town right here. I'm hopeful. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> it got dark quick. They didn't walk that far and it was like dark. The slaughtered lamb. Uh, That's kind of strange. Yeah. But whatever happens, it's, it's your fault. fault. Right. All right, come on. Okay, yeah, they're inside. Tough room. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. What'd they do? It's <laughs> coming in. Okay. Then you have tea? No. Oh. <laughs> but I can make some for you, if you like. They don't have tea, but she can make some for them. Okay. <laughs> it's a five-pointed star. Well, maybe the owners are from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ask them what the candles are for. <laughs> the candles. They even want me to ask them if they're burning candles to ward off monsters. Right. He's calling it out. Remember the Alamo. A joke's out the Mexican! <laughs> oh wow, they are like cracking up over this. How many times have they heard this one? <laughs> well, look that star on the wall for! <laughs> These guys are either really happy or really skeptical. You <clears throat> made me miss. These guys are so like, what is going on? Shall we go, Jack? It's very abnormal. You just can't let them go. Go. Oh, they know that something's... Stay on the road. <gasps> they know something's gonna happen, right? Beware the moon, lads. Oh, no. They See, they know. They know it's not safe out there. Where the hell are we going? Oh, anywhere. I just want to get away from the slaughtered lamb. See, look what they did. They should have been nice to them. You can't let them go. You guys did let them go. It's in God's hands now. That whole 
group of people. <laughs> they all know. Santa Lucia. I'm nervous. But I'm glad they're singing in the rain. <laughs> Perhaps they'll be safe in the rain. No, they're not going to. I know. What do you think they'd say? They'd think it's mad. Yeah, I don't think they'd believe it. Do you hear it? How could they let them go? <laughs> we must go to them. Well, it's too late now, probably. Or maybe they could, I don't know. It's a full moon. Beware the moon and stick to the road. Get back to the road. <laughs> Just do it anyways. Go back to the slaughtered land. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do they have enough time? I don't know. We're lost. Oh. oh. Just run. <laughs> Just. <laughs> one of them's gonna die. Probably one of them's gonna turn into a werewolf. Oh, shit. What is it? Yeah. I think it's, it's a sheepdog or something. A sheepdog, <laughs> sure. It had to have been bigger than that. A sheepdog. Where are we going? I don't know. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay, because. Oh! oh! Oh, scared me. Okay. You really scared me, you shithead. You gonna help me up or what? Oh! Oh no. He just left him there. Oh, he's getting real beat up. <laughs> More than beat up. <laughs> oh my gosh. He went back? Same guy? Oh, is that the werewolf? Because that guy was not his friend. Dr. Hirsch, Mr. Kessler called out just now. Nurse Gallagher, surely you perform some function here at the hospital. Uh, <laughs> surely you perform some kind of function here. Well, at least those nice people <laughs> went out to help them. Well, the police report said they were attacked by an escaped lunatic. A lunatic? I'm sure he had wolf, like, bites all in him. Okay, we've got the perspective. Is this... Hello, David. Oh. Where's Jack? David, I'd like you to prepare yourself. Your friend is dead. Jack's dead? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Where's Jack? You get your... Well, they said Jack didn't make it. I want to see Mr. Jack. Kessler. <laughs> I, I appreciate how upsetting this must be for you. Please, Mr. Kessler. What do you get when you cross a chicken with a kangaroo? Pouched eggs. I shall come back and check on your progress and send a report to your parents. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Collins. Yeah, that Mr. Collins is not helping. He's had quite a shock. These dumbass kids, they never appreciate anything you do for them. Does he not realize what this guy just went through? How long have I been here? His friend's dead. You've been unconscious since you were brought in three weeks ago. Three weeks? They say a madman has the strength of ten. We've given you a pretty strong sedative. He should tell Rest him. now. Nurse Price will see to all your needs. We were attacked by a wolf. Thank your pardon. It's an animal. Yeah. Some tea. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'd like some tea, please. <laughs> oh, come on. Let him have some tea. Has Mr. Kessler said anything regarding the attack on the Moors? Excuse me. Yes. Can they go talk to him? We have an autopsy report on the murderer who was shot in the act by the local police. We have two witnesses to the crime. What about, like, the wounds? David, as far as we're concerned, the matter is now closed. We will trouble you enough with that. Good day. Doctor. It's, the matter is now closed. That's it. In time, I'm sure it'll all come back to you. Why? Doctor, my memory is fine. It's my sanity I'm beginning to worry. Why is the town covering it up? Okay, wh Oh. So, did the werewolf not get killed? I thought he would become... Oh, that's him. So what's happening? Is he dreaming? Okay. I think he's having some dreams. <laughs> He seems to be peacefully resting. Uh, no, really, thanks. I'm not hungry. Oh. 
Is he not going to be hungry for regular food? You know, this is absurd. I, I'm not hungry. I don't want any food. Right. Well, you can't take your medicine on an empty stomach. Let's try a little harder, shall we? Would you give me a break? Ah. Oh, oh well. <laughs> like he's a kid. He likes her. Oh, interesting. I don't want him to be the Oh. Don't want him to be the werewolf. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Look, Dr. Hirsch, I know I was traumatized, but Jack was torn apart. I saw him. A man can't do that to someone with his... Oh, yeah, look at him. Look at that. Did the cops go to the slaughtered lamb? I really don't know. Then why the hell are you so quick well, to disbelieve me? What about Jack's autopsy? He autopsy? <laughs> I'd rather not be by myself. I'll send someone in to keep you company. <laughs> the nurse, maybe? Oh, I hope... I hope he doesn't kill her. <laughs> Don't want that to happen. Is it, is it, will it be the full moon then? When he first turns? And he at once began to say things which interested me. Oh, Miss Piggy. That's Punch and Judy. They've always been violent. You gotta love the Muppets. Very badly. Get the door! Is he back home? This must be like a flashback or a dream again. Oh. What kind of dreams? What? That's just a lot. Hello. Have you been up long? I've just had a nightmare. He's having nightmares about me. Oh! Uh-uh. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Good morning. Now eat your breakfast this time. Don't tell me it's another. No. Oh. Get the f out of here, Jack. Thanks a lot. I can't take this. Oh my gosh. I realize I don't look so hot, David. But I thought you'd be glad to see me. These dreams are something else. It might be unsettling to see you rise from the grave to visit me. Sorry to be upsetting you. Whoa. Your parents came to my funeral. Yeah. He's got stuff hanging from his face. I mean, it's his flesh, but yeah. You know, I'm really sorry to be upsetting you, but I have to warn you. Do you it. were attacked by a werewolf. I'm not listening to this. I'm Listen to him. An unnatural death. And now I walk the earth in limbo until the werewolf's curse is lifted. In limbo? The wolf's bloodline must be severed. The last remaining werewolf must be destroyed. It's you, David. Oh, you must be destroyed. I'm lonely. <laughs> Take your life, David. <gasps> kill yourself before you kill others. Is he really in limbo or is he just dreaming all of this? <laughs> also, did no one find his body? This is still bugging me. <laughs> They, they covered it up like they... How could they even do that? My friend Jack was just here. Your dead friend, Jack. Yes. He told me that I will become a monster in two days. Oh, two days? I was dreaming again. Yes, I would think so. I think so, too. I would hope so, but... Do you have somewhere to stay in London? Remember, I am just a working girl, so don't expect too much. So he's going to stay with her, but I'm concerned for her now. This stuff's expensive. <laughs> I was about to say some good prices there. <laughs> Back in the day. I'm getting nervous. I find you very attractive. And a little bit sad. A little bit sad. Perhaps you'd like to watch telly whilst I take a shower. I don't want her to die. Don't, don't want her to die. The marvelous night. Oh, well, this is not gonna end well. <sighs> Jazz music. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for them to continue the movie. So how long has it been? Has it been two days? 
feel like something's gonna happen now. Either that or he's gonna have another one of those crazy dreams. Ah! Oh, oh, he looks worse. A nurse, huh? <laughs> I've never seen a movie done like this. Like, just bringing back a dead character. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Hi, David! Put that down. Doesn't he know he's creeping out his friend? Like, if this is legit. Tomorrow night's the full moon. You're gonna change. I'm serious, face. Are you really dead, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. I think you're not real. I think you're just another part of a bad dream. It could be. You kill and make others like me. I'm not having a nice time here. You gotta take your own life. How's this movie gonna end? This is not pretend, David. I will not be threatened by a walking meatloaf. A walking meatloaf. Oh, man. Come back to bed now. He's struggling. Do I seem crazy to you? David, what is the matter? I don't think so, because... What did he say? He said that tomorrow I'll turn into a monster. Well, at least he's being honest. <laughs> I think that... A werewolf can only be killed by someone who loves him. What are you talking about? She's not taking it seriously. Not until it happens. Finding you terribly attractive. Here we are, out in the country again. Countryside. Technically, they're safe out there now, though, because the other wolf guy died. Oh, he's going to investigate. I like it. Good. And there he is. At the weird tavern. Uh, Tea? Campari soda would do very nice, I think. Sorry, love. They don't have it? Small Guinness will suffice. Oh. Okay. I think that's all they have there. <laughs> the escaped lunatic, the one who killed the boy. Oh, a thousand thanks, madam. There we are. A thousand? Night takes form. What? Oh, yeah. I don't know if he's gonna get anything out of these guys. They're pretty set on playing dumb. <laughs> hey, what's that? Oh, that's, uh... You know, so we kept it. It's traditional, so we left it. <laughs> we left it. The matter? You're a police officer. Oh, good lord. <laughs> They're not doing a very good job at hiding. Oh, surely I'm not that impressive. No. No, so you're not. I don't feel like a game. They're just so cold. You off now? Aye. I'll not be long. What are they even... They check on the dogs. Do we? Dogs are fine. The dogs. Exactly. Do you have anything to eat? No. There's no food here. Nothing for you here, sir. What do these people even do all day? <laughs> like, just everyone who comes in who's not them. Uh-huh. It was a mistake. Don't let him leave here. Oh, they usually keep them? It's almost full moon. Just tell him. Hey, you. That's enough! No, tell him straight up. <laughs> Why are they trying to, like, hide it, you know, and protect the wolf story? Let's, let's crush this thing. <laughs> Stop it before it continues. Oh. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> You know, it's probably a good thing that he's locked out. Cat knows, the dog knows. Maybe she'll work the night shift and just miss the whole thing. The men in her life. There may have been a lot, but I don't regret one of them. Nina tells So cheesy. Earning too much money, getting in too much mischief. Earning, earning too much money. waiting for it now. <laughs> oh, it's a tiny fridge? Mini fridge? Is that all she has? 
She has a lot of those Mickey figurines. Yes, get out for a little bit. Where was he going originally? Oh, is it getting close? I feel like I'm not going to be scared because we spent so much time with this character. Is he for real? He's just burning up. He's hot. Is it happening? It is happening? I couldn't even take that seriously at first. Okay then. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. It seems very painful. Oh, he believes it now. Yikes! Whoa. The the practical effects. I don't even know what to say. I'm just... Ooh. Ah. Oh, wow. The teeth are so big. There, there's that. There's that. That howl. I hope he is long gone. Which one, Harry? I'm a 13 now. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be the first ones to get attacked. <laughs> hey, did you hear something? Just now? Yes. No. <laughs> ah! Oh. Oh! Those hooligans are in the park again. <sighs> Aren't you ready yet? I'll be here any minute. Hooligans. Something going on out there. Yeah. Ask Gallagher, do you know if Nurse Price has seen the Kessler boy since this release? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. Don't go out to investigate it. He's at my flat. What's um, the number? I'm off at midnight and... Your number? Oh, he's not at home. Wow, he's really going out there. Like, I think you've gone far enough. You can go in. I tried to investigate the attack. There are no records. The case was closed. Now they've misplaced the file. <laughs> but if he survived an attack by a werewolf, wouldn't he himself become a werewolf? Wow, he's really just believing all of it? But in such a deranged state, he might harm himself. Or perhaps other people. Okay. What shall we do? I think we should call the police. He's just thinking that it's not real, but he could be experiencing it in his mind. Oh, there's a dog there too. Yeah, let's let's not. No. There. Oh. He was a never ending story. Very mother of God. Okay. Oh. He's just going around attacking all the random people. I mean, no one's really targeted, I guess, when you're a werewolf, but... Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, that's, like, the scariest scenario. I can assure you that this is not in the least bit amusing. I shall report this. This is way out. He's definitely not gonna make it either. He's all alone and there's no one else. So creepy. Just, I don't know if you can outrun him. It's even scarier when they don't show him. <laughs> well, I don't feel like he's going fast enough. You're doing a terrible job. <laughs> Is he just like letting? He didn't even try to get away. Maybe he was in shock. <laughs> How did he get in there? Did he kill one of the animals? He's with the wolves. 
Is that how he got in? Yeah, he has no clothes. Excuse me. You should ask her for her coat. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he's trying to get the balloons, I don't think it's going to help much. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't give him anything. He doesn't have anything. Man or monster? 20 pence, please, sir. Are there going to be reports? Because they can't cover this one up. Half eaten. Maybe he'll go back to, like, maybe he'll run away. How far did he go? Is he going to tell her the truth? He should. I woke up in the zoo. The zoo. What did I do last night? Oh, he doesn't remember. I know. Have you heard anything? Yeah, tell her. Tell her everything. Have you read the papers today? We listened to the radio or the television. No, why? Is David behaving strangely? Oh, man. We'll come right over. I expect you shortly. See, he believes it. Yeah. You know, I should be committed. Here we are. Yeah. Talk to her. She'll know what to do. He's in such a good mood, and he doesn't even know. He must be a real right maniac, this fella. Pull over. David, Pull over. No, get him to the hospital. Jack is dead! Jack is dead and six people are dead. There's going to be a full moon tonight. I'm going to the cops. Yeah. I killed those people last night. You did, did you? He's playing a silly joke. You be quiet. We have an argument. He thinks... I'm surprised. I'm glad he's being so upfront. So I should arrest you. That's what I want you to do, you moron. He's very upset. His friend was killed. Will you shut up? All right, it's quiet enough. Come on, about your business. Yeah, let him do it. Why is she stopping him? I love you, I, but I think I did some terrible things last night, things I can't remember. David, let's go and see Dr. Hirsch. No, you got to stay away from me. Officer. David, I can help you. No. At least he believes it. Lindsay Glad seemed to feel that some sort of animal was involved. That's true. Well, he didn't go to the doctor. We'll find him, not to worry. Mm. I promise. He tried so hard to get arrested. Well, where's Max? You're all alone? What's going on? Tell mom and dad that I love them, okay? Oh. And uh, don't fight with Max. He's probably gonna try to kill himself. Goodbye. He's trying to do the right thing. I feel like he's really trying. He's trying to say goodbye to his family, get arrested, or take care of the situation somehow. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I... He's not going to be able to. Maybe they can lock him up in jail and then they can... Oh, man! Why? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Hi, Jack. Hi, David. Oh, God. He is, like, completely just disintegrating there. You look awful. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know if it was me that killed those people last night. I don't remember doing it. What about the zoo? He's like, it was you. I'm actually glad to see you, Jack. Glad to see you. David Kessler, this is Gerald Bringsley. What the heck? I am a victim of your carnivorous lunar activities. I was not expecting them to have these, like, conversations. And his fiance, Judith Browns. Hello. Oh, they're still happy. <laughs> Are Alf, Ted, and Joseph. Oh, he got all the guys. The gun! Okay. I know where you can get a gun. Don't I need a silver bullet or Such an interesting scene. Oh, a gun would be good. Yes, you just put the gun to your forehead and pull the trigger. She's so happy still. An electric shock. A car crash? You could throw yourself in front of a tube. Drowning. Oh. Very, um, introspective. I don't know. They're being more thoughtful about <laughs> all this than I thought. Oh. 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 oh no, is he changing right now? Please, <laughs> run! Oh, oh. He should run. He should run. What was that? I don't know. I'll check on the house. 
No, everybody should run. Oh, he's gonna kill everybody in there. Oh, yeah. Hard. He just goes in there by himself. Is he even still in there? Bring rifles! <laughs> oh, is that... Yeah, get out of the way, guys. <laughs> they need some... You know, just use their weapons. I don't know if that would work. Isn't it like a silver bullet or something? Ooh. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by a bus. Watch <laughs> out. Wow, he looks like a... He doesn't really look very wolf-like. I mean, he does, but... There's a disturbance in Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> a disturbance. It's a, it's a little more than a disturbance. I don't know. I'm sure they've tried this before. David. It's David. Yeah, it is. If he sees her, will he react to friend or no? Everybody's... You'd think they would have run away. They're all just hanging out. Let's have a look. Let me through! Don't just hold it. Let me through! Oh, what is she doing? She's going back there all on her own. David! It doesn't mean you're safe. I don't think you'd run back there if you knew. They're going to kill you. <laughs> she see him? She's just talking to him. Please let me help you. He's like... I love you, David. Can he, like... Is he really? No. It's like, I don't know if he really can pick up on what's happening when he's a werewolf. Is he really gone? And it just ends? What? And then the uppity music? Mr. Collins was Frank Haas? Okay, wait. I have to pause this music. I okay. It just ended like that. I'm, I was expecting so much more of a build up on like, how to kill him, what's going on. Well, okay, thoughts. <laughs> really good practical effects. Um, I'm still amazed at how they made him transform. Just with practical effects, I miss that. I really miss just the traditional effects. Um, I don't know if I was too scared. I think the subway scene is the scariest part of the movie, but other than that, like, I got so used to this character that I wasn't really afraid of him once I got to know him. Did you guys feel the same way? Let me know in the comments. Um, that was very, <laughs> very interesting. I wasn't as scared as I thought I was going to be. I thought I was just going to be so terrified by this. Um, but yeah, they did a good job. Executing all the effects. Uh, I, I might have to gather my thoughts some more before I come back. Or this might be it. I want to hear your thoughts on him and your thoughts on the movie. Do you think it's scary? Oh, watching it again later in life, is it scary? I don't know. I wasn't scared. Okay. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you found it fun <laughs> to watch this with me. I think that definitely had some good jumps in it and was shocking at times uh definitely took a different turn and i was not expecting him to see all of the other uh people that he had killed and just talk to them like just casual you know just casual um so yeah I'm curious if there are were any movies before this or after this because i really don't know much about it but thanks for joining me on popcorn roulette we'll catch you next time